So what I want to do, rather than start with the theory, I want us to experience it first. I want you to discover this model. Can you please open the little piece of paper in front of you and have a read of the scenario just to yourself? Put yourself in that situation, imagine yourself there. What I want you to do is just tell me how you feel. You're there, you've just stepped in that dog poo, everyone has just stepped in the same amount of dog poo. Annoyed. annoyed. You're annoyed. Okay, hold on one second. Alright, someone's anxious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Irritated. Yeah. yeah, irritated. What else have we got? I'm forlorn. Forlorn? <laughs> yep. So frustrated. Anything else? Following on those initial ones, sad. Sad? Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe yeah, angry. Just like angry? angry. Yeah. That's another thing to deal with. <laughs> it's a fantastic mix. What's interesting to me. This one scenario has resulted in quite a spread of <laughs> emotions. Why is that? Why would stepping in dog poo make some people forlorn, anxious, angry, sad, or frustrated? It's not just a dog poo, it's everything which comes before. And what is mm. it that's come before? Right. <laughs> what happened after the dog poo? What have you read in your scenario? Well, first start, you're in a heightened state already because you're late for work and you're running out the door and you've right. got your arms filled yeah. and you're already feeling a little bit overwhelmed and yeah. then it's just like the mouse that sinks the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what has happened between, like literally on your piece of paper, you've got the scenario there, then what happens next? What have I got in that second paragraph? Yes, you think, yes, there it is. <laughs> Now for somebody who is angry, can you please tell me what you thought? Read it out loud. I just thought... Uh, what, you like literally what it's written there. Which bit? The you oh, think. Sorry. Oh my god, that's disgusting. It's all over my shoe. I'm never going to be able to get it off. Oh god, this smells awful. I'm going to stink that dog poo all day. This is so embarrassing. Okay, oh, now do you get different. <laughs> <laughs> sad. I think you were yeah, sad. Can you please sad. read us your thought? Oh gosh, a pile of dog poo. This is almost exactly where Rufus used to leave his pile every morning. Gosh, I miss him. So your dead mm. dog was re you yeah. were reminded of your dead dog. Did you, you stood not have a dead no. dog? <laughs> <laughs> Who was? Uh, I don't know why no one else was sad. Me, I was anxious. You were anxious. Oh my god, this is disgusting. It's right. like my shoe. <laughs> Who was um, uh, irritated or? That was me. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, it's a bloody neighbour's dog again. Mm. How many times have I told oh. them to fix the fence so their dog can't get into the yard? Dog owners are so irresponsible. Yeah. Wow. So we had different thoughts, right? And it was the different thoughts about this scenario that actually led you to either feel sad or irritated or angry. You might have had a mix. It's absolutely okay. It was not the scenario on its own. It was actually how we interpret the scenario and that is exactly what Beck told us when he was sort of thinking about cognitive therapy. This is actually the model right here. We have a situation in its simplest form. We have a situation, we have our thoughts and we have our reactions. And for Beck, it's actually all about the way we think about a situation that actually leads to the reactions. So when we're thinking about the premise of cognitive behaviour therapy and what are we targeting, I'm actually not going to try and prevent you from ever stepping in dog poo to make sure that you never get anxious. What I'm going to, to think about with you is actually how do we catch what you thought and what impact did that have on how you feel. 